G'day and welcome to Uncaged Expeditions. Got a good trip for you this trip. Very good trip. All the boys saw how I went to Cameron Corner to get Joseph the milk. And they were all said, apart from Thrace, well, they've never been up there, so they want to go up. So, yeah, why not? Let's head up there again. Thrace is with us as well. Uh, he has been to Cameron Corner before, but he's never actually made it to the dig tree. So, thought, let's do it all together. So we're all going up to Cameron Corner. We're gonna go visit the dig tree and make a good trip out of it. Like I said, it's a first for uh, most of the boys. Uh, actually, all the boys are gonna have a first on this trip, which is fantastic. Now, just driving out of Melbourne, just past, uh, what was it, uh, Kynaton, I don't know how to pronounce it, one of the two. Um, it's myself, Thrace is behind me, and we're going to stop at Hatta South Rest Area for the first night. Steve left a little bit earlier, so we're going to meet Steve at the rest area. He'll probably be passed out by the time we get there, but let's see how we go. And then Robbie and Dee were actually up at Surfers, I believe, Surfers Paradise in Brisbane. I think it was Surfers. And they're actually shooting across from there, and we're going to meet at Cameron Corner uh, tomorrow night. So this is a big kilometre trip. My type of trip, I, I love driving. Um, let's see how all the other boys go, see if they enjoy it as much. Um, but I think they will see the other back of Queensland, New South Wales, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So it's Saturday at 6pm, finished work and just heading out. Got my V. Just had a couple of sandwiches that Josie made me, salami and cheese of course. And we've got another about four hours worth of driving to get to the rest area. That's about it. We're gonna keep on driving. Really looking forward to this trip. As I said, I've, I did it not that long ago. Uh, another solo trip. Being a good husband, getting my wife some milk. So, it'll be good to do it with all the boys. Arrived at Hutter South Rest Area. Oh yeah, it was a bit of a nice drive, so didn't film that much. But look at the people you meet when coming to rest stops like this. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Yasu, how are you, Georgie? How are you, brother? Good, mate. Shall? Very good. Beautiful. What's going Got on? a little fire going there. How, how was your drive up, Steve? Wasn't too bad, actually. Was I right? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Beautiful. <coughs> easy. Good. Very easy to get here. It's a nice spot. For the side of the road, it's actually a really nice spot. I um, wasn't too sure whether this was the spot. I thought it has to be. Yeah. There's a few other ones beforehand, but they don't have rest stop. You know what I mean? The signs I and that for it. I thought actually a truck stop is what you're talking about. Well, it's a rest stop. Yeah. Yes. I mean, obviously, being here for the very first time. Yeah, yeah. And this part of the country as well. I mean, you know. But, uh, yeah, that no, was good. Beautiful. And where's this old fella? The old fella? <coughs> there he is. Wait a second. Okay, they can get done. Tracy? How was your drive up? Beautiful. Yeah. I was getting a bit tired though. Yeah, it's tiring. Huh? Yeah. Once it once it started to to do at about uh, oh. seven thirty seven o'clock. Yeah. I thought because I got it like uh, I think I need. Yes, really. Hello, buddy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ranger Sam. <laughs> Ranger Sam. Just goes to show you what age does. You see, look all the places I've been to, young fella. 
Yeah, oh, age, it makes you go crazy. It makes you go where, loopy. Where have you been? <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere. Sorry, sorry, Ranger Sam. <laughs> I'm well. So what are they? Are they all, they're all badges? All badges of all the places I've been. Put your head down a little bit. That You've been around. That, yeah, he's been around. You've been around. I think you need another hat. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is so heavy. <laughs> <coughs> All righty, Thrace and myself are going to set up and just kick back here for tonight and that's about it. Rest up, we're going to early start in the morning. Yeah, at 3 o'clock we're heading off. Yeah, Thrace is heading off at 3. Um, I'm going to head off at 5. Okay. No, I'm going to wake up at 5, head off by 5.30. Okay. All right, well, setting up took all of, what, two minutes, Thrace? Uh, that's an exaggeration, it's about <laughs> one. <laughs> so, that's all done. Steve's gone to bed. Um, and now it's time for, I think, us to go to bed. You agree? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, we, we, are, we are going to bed separately, yeah? He's got his own tent, I've got my own tent. Oh, yeah, well, definitely. Yeah, just need to clarify that, because that sounded a bit funny. <laughs> oh, right. Hey? You're a bunny. <laughs> hey, you never know. Steve, you might get a visitor up there. Huh? That, that tent's looking pretty big. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll lock my tent shut, thank you. Nothing will happen. <laughs> anyway, that's it for tonight. A bit of friendly banter and bed. Anyway, good night. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Thrace. Good night. Good night, Steve. Good night, George. Thrace. Better ring the boss. Good morning. Just woke up. Uh, five o'clock. We're going to make an early start. Um, just because we've got a decent drive ahead of us. and We'll see some things along the way. Take our time a little bit. But no, it got really chilly last night, surprisingly. A lot of condensation on the tents. But all good, all part of the fun. Steve, how'd you sleep? Don't ask. Don't ask, so that means you slept really well. Thrace, how'd you sleep down there? Like a baby. Very good. Now Thrace got a new addition to his uh, camping setup. <coughs> actually, a few new additions, which I'll show you um, when there's actually actually some daylight. Anyway, for now we're just gonna pack up. Well, I've already packed up. Steve's all packed up. Thrace is getting there. He's old, he moves a bit slower, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll just pack up and hit the road. Okay, travelled the odd 70 k's or so from Hatta to Mildura. Thrace, what time is it? You didn't make me coffee. You promised me coffee first thing in the morning. What time is it? Who knows? 5.56. So it's not even morning yet. Morning. And Steve, he's the one that actually has been bugging about coffee. Bloody all these coffee drinkers. I don't know what's wrong with all these coffee drinkers. That's why V is easy. Grab it out of the fridge, you're done. On the road. Steve, you ready to get your coffee or what? Certainly am. Um, that, that I'm ready for. <laughs> I need a coffee. Just arrived in Broken Hill. I'm at the BP, gonna fuel up now. Um, and yeah, the one thing you're gonna come across owning one of these 70 series cruisers is the fuel light. Now, when I filled up back at home, um, I filled up when there was a tanker filling up diesel, which is a big no-no. I avoided as much as possible, but you know, I just wasn't thinking. I've, I filled up one of my one of my tanks, the 180 litre tank, and yeah, I wasn't happy. But what can you do? It happened. So I went and got um, some Dr. Diesel, two litres of it, put it in. But I knew that on this trip, at some stage, that light would come on. It normally comes on every 20,000 k's or so, um, but I get it changed with the services, so I, I rarely see it, but I knew this time it would come on. So, as like I said, I'm going to fill up diesel now, and then I'm going to uh, grab the spare fuel filter I've got in the back, and just change that over too. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Alrighty, now let's fill up diesel. Here's the high flow, 156. That's not too bad considering. So, let's fill everything up. Now, halfway through changing it, I forgot to grab the camera and actually film the whole process, but 
that's the filter there as you can see that's the new one they've always got those spots I don't know what they are but all nice and clean I've cleaned out the actual filter housing as well there that's the old one what where are we black but they're always black like that so that's not a surprise so I've put that back on I've put the rubber o-ring back on put that back on like that like that put the three allen keys screw them in Move up a little bit. Now yeah, go around and tighten, tighten them all up. I'm no mechanic, so if I'm doing something wrong, well, it works for me, so that's the way I do it. Nearly done. What did you, did you change the filter? Yeah. Okay. So you take it? Yeah. That's done. Now I need two hands for the last one. And then you just pump that up until it gets hard and you're right to start the car. So just keep pumping that until it goes hard. Okay, so I've pumped up the filter, the primer here. Um, it didn't get rock hard, but you know, I've pumped it enough. Now the process is, you leave the top plug off, you put the car, the ignition, to on. So you put the key to on, you see that the light is still up there. I normally wait about 10 seconds or so, but you know, by the time you walk around and everything, it's about 10 seconds. Plug. The top switch back in. Turn it off. That good. That's different. Maybe we'll pump it a bit more. Okay, up and running. I just got a little bit impatient and didn't pump the thing enough, but now it's all done. Ready to go. Boys, you ready to go? We're ready. Ready. But, yeah, after uh, after Thrace got you guys lost. No, no. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, From what I was told, it was wrong instructions. It was. You said um, past Steve, Pacific Center. Steve, did you drive straight here and turn left at the roundabout and not see me? Yes, we didn't see you, yes, we didn't see you. We both didn't see you. We didn't see you. Okay, You're not just, just for reference, it's the only BP servo in town, I'd say, the big BP sign. That's the intersection. I'll and the my car was there. With How can you miss it? Alright, let's go to Coles. Like usual when coming through Broken Hill, always end up here. I always end up at the Coles. We did our fruit and veg shopping. 
um, and Thrace and Steve are just packing their fridges and we're taking off. We're gonna drive a little bit and just stop just out of town and have some breakfast, that's a plan. Now just leaving Broken Hill and I forgot to mention after fueling up, um, it drank 16.9, so 17 litres per 100. Um, which wasn't too bad, I suppose. Normally it's a little bit lower than that, but you know. Dirty fuel, maybe that had something to do with it, who knows. But you know what, it, I, say, I say the litres per hundred just for a guide for information for people. Um, if you're worried about fuel consumption and you don't want to waste too much fuel, you know what, wrong car. There's much better options out there than you know the 70 series and the 200 series. Um, they drink, but if you want a great four-wheel drive, the best in my opinion, you know, you gotta suffer. Not suffer. It's not that bad, but you know, that's just fuel. What can you do? What can you do? Anyway, we're driving out of town now. Just gonna stop at. Um, is out of Broken Hill. Just stopped to make some breakfast, kind of breakfast lunch. Just a couple of sandwiches, put some pies in the travel buddy oven to have for a later lunch. <laughs> but yeah, Thrace and Steve are up there just making whatever they're making, a yogurt and a wrap. Just gonna eat this and then be on the road again. We've made it to Tibberborough and now uh, we got wood. Uh, I didn't film it because we got swarmed by flies, attacked by flies, way too much. So now we're going to get ice creams. Right. Steve, Steve, where are you going? I don't know, where are we going? In there. Okay. And I don't know where they've gone. I think that's a pub. Now we've come to Tibbaburra, we've got our ice creams, actually Steve and myself got ice creams, Thrace, no ice cream, he's been a good boy. Gentlemen, how's the drive been so far? Not too bad actually. Terrible, I didn't get my Not ice cream, you didn't buy me an ice cream. I offered, you no. didn't want. Yeah, because you know I'm a diabetic, you offered me ice cream, you could offer me a coffee or something. No. No, no, it's not for coffee. You got a badge out of it, a hat oh, yeah. badge. Him, not you. Oh, oh so, right, so it you. doesn't matter, right. it doesn't matter, we work as a team here. Oh, okay, I get it. Throw, setting up the camera there for the photo. Take a photo in front of the Tibberborough sign. It's actually one of the better signs out here with all the silhouettes. I'm gonna lower the tire pressures here as well now, now that we've stopped. I'm gonna go probably 22 on the front and I'll probably go 30 on the back for now and we'll see how we go because it's very hot and the pressures are up. So they'll drop when they'll cool down, but we'll see how we go. It's a good starting point. We're 65 k's out from Cameron Corner um, and just came across this clay pan here. Absolutely beautiful. And there's the race. And Steve shouldn't be too far behind him. So We'll have a bit of a breather here and take a photo. Beautiful spot. Thrace, how's the drive going? Well, I uh, got my pilot's license at one spot. Yeah. I think I became, <laughs> I think I became airborne. Fantastic. Yeah, the road's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. Just a little bit back there with those um, big dips. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, a bit scary because yeah, it was two, two in a row. <laughs> You become a bit complacent when the road's good, oh, yeah. and then you hit one a bit too much, and I got airborne. I raid out over the boys, but they probably didn't hear me. Thrace got airborne. Steve probably got airborne too. Steve, how's the drive going so far? So far, not too bad. Not too bad? But there's a couple of bumpy bits, let me tell you. <laughs> that were, that's what we were couple of we airborne. <laughs> a couple of bits where I thought, oh my god, I'm going. <laughs> now, just getting to the dog fence, which is just that Cameron corner and look at the people you meet along the way. How you going? G'day. 
Fancy meeting you here. I know, uh, the people you meet out on the road. You come here often? Well, you know, often enough. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. How was the drive? Uh, it was good. It was good? good. Yeah, no, it was good. When did you leave Friday? Um, we left Friday morning. Yeah, Friday morning. Friday, 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 Friday. Beautiful. From Gold Coast? Up from Gold Coast. That's right. yeah. Beautiful. Had, had a few um, issues with these car. Well, what happened? First, first it was indicators. Go, you tell me. First it was indicators, right? Then it was a uh, tyre. 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 This is not, we haven't even left. No, we're, we're, we're still in Gold Coast. Oh, look. We haven't left. We haven't left. The Unreal. The car didn't want to go. We wanted to stay there. We were supposed to stay there. Yeah, we wanted to stay there. So. All good since then? So, organised the tyre, found a place, organised it, picked it up, but then got a change later on. Since the then, no issues? That's alright then. Not so far. No, not, so. Well, not so far. The trip's still early. <laughs> She'll be right. Um, these other blokes, I don't know where they are. Oh, right, Thrace, mate Is at the cameraman's corner, how do you feel? Uh, we, uh, well, terrific. Terrific? Uh, well, I feel better when I sit down and have a drink and something to eat, because all I had was a pie for lunch today and I'm starving. Very good. Steve, how do, how do you feel finding that cameraman's corner? Ah, oh, sensational. It's a good feeling, isn't it? Unbelievable. It's a beautiful what a, place. What a drive. Tiring, but well worth it. Definitely well worth it. Very well, yeah, very much so. Did you say the car makes it? Sorry? Did you say the car makes the trip? This car's sensational for, th for this kind of uh, trip. Uh, wait, Steve, just repeat that, please. Sorry, this car is sensational for this kind of trip. Fantastic. But... No, no, well, that's all we no, need. No, 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 Nothing beats a patrol for off-roading, for real <laughs> off-roading. <laughs> that's that, the truth. That's why you haven't got one. No, that's the truth. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, we're going to get a fire going, maybe organise what we're going to do for, for dinner first. And these flies are still around, so... <laughs> Steve just said that he's not hungry, so we'll see what we're going to do anyway. We'll set up and take it, take it as it comes. I was just a little bit too late to get the bit of the comedy show. Robbie? <laughs> yeah. What was going on? Uh, well, obviously Georgie's scared of uh, spiders. And, uh, yeah, not scared of spiders, spiders, I just don't like them. Chasing <laughs> the spider off the campsite. Yeah. Sending him home. You're a gentleman. <laughs> Just sitting at Cameron's cor uh, Cameron Corner now. Got a fire going. Everyone's relaxing. Stevie, Trace. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank your mother for the rabbits. That's the one. Not, I think there's any rabbits. <laughs> D, how you going? Good mate. Just relaxing, enjoying the fire. Relaxing. Good to see you guys got up here. We got here, all right. Time to keep back and relax. Everyone's gone to bed. Um, Steve and Thrace are camping next to me. Robbie and Dee, they got a little room for the night. Um, they got here a lot earlier. It was hot, so they wanted a room, air conditioning and that, so good luck to them. Um, but yeah, I just had a shower. Uh, you pay five bucks. It's ten bucks for camping, so five dollars goes to them, five dollars goes to the raw flying service, the doctor flying service, RDFS, and it's five dollars for showers, so even though I got a shower in the car, I just couldn't be bothered today. Had a shower there, freshened up, and now it's time for bed. It's been a long day. Anyway, good night. I'll see you in the morning.